Hey everyone, I want to talk about today the mind, the self, our brain, and in that brain, the subconsciousness. Now, I've heard of Tony Robbins and I've heard him say that the mind is not us. And, and I want to break this down a little bit because when he said that, it struck me like lightning and I understood what he meant by that. And I wanted to talk about that today because it correlates with all my other videos, number one, and two, my practice of the, the, the subconsciousness, the programming, society, the matrix, all those are the same meaning, using different terminology, using different subjects in life, whether it's spiritual, religion, science, they all talk about the same thing. It's the tech, it's the terminology that's different. It means nothing different. So let's 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 talk about what Tony Robin means when he says the mind is not us. Okay. Why do we have negative thoughts? It's very simple. The negative thoughts are not us as well, too. The negative thoughts are our preconditioning from our family, friends, upbringing, school system, television, media, radio, whoever you decide or whatever your first seven years or whatever the seventh year to the 18th year, those friends you hang around with and ongoing. But our programming is those society, the community of people we have grew up around, not by choice. That's why Bill Gates says, if you're born poor, shame on your parents, but if you die poor, shame on you. What it means is you have the difference after age 16, 17, or 18. That's why by law, you can buy cigarettes, and depending on which state or country, you can buy alcohol because you're you're an adult. You can make your own decisions. You can make your own decisions to change your own life as well. Now, if we go back to the subject of the mind and the thought, what I realize has helped me today is, but let's break it down. You have an idea, but that idea your idea, you start feeling different emotions towards it. You start feeling different emotions 10 minutes into the thought, one hour into the thought, one hour into the thought, one day into the thought, to one week into the thought, into one month into the thought, into the, one, into, into the first year into the thought. Your emotions change. Now, let's pretend you talk to a group of friends who are, you know, entrepreneurs. They're gonna say, go and do it, because their programming says that. But you're gonna to talk to your other group of friends or family or cousins, or anyone, relatives, and they're gonna say, oh no, that's, that's, that's dumb. Now your emotions change. Your emotions are connected to purely your memory, your conditioning, your programming. Remember, they're all the same, they mean the same. Conditioning, programming, matrix, subconsciousness, they all mean the same. What is my point at the end of the day? My point is, if you know that you have an idea and you can recognize your emotions, okay, learn to block that chakra out. Learn to block that channel out. Because now, the point of ch opening chakras is so you can be more open-minded, but sometimes you have to know which chakra is coming through, which channel is coming through, which part of the brain is coming through, so you know how to say, oh, you identified that those are just fears. That emotion of fear is just nothing but other people's voices or judgment or programming that have told you which is your brain, not you, your subconsciousness. Remember, your subconsciousness is an autopilot. You don't get to decide what goes in there. But you get to decide who you surround yourself with 
and those new data or voices or conditioning or programming goes into the subconsciousness if you hear it enough. Science shows you have to listen to something 14 times to become your subconsciousness. So that's why sometimes when I'm listening to a audio book or audio tape or interview or something on podcasts or YouTube, I, I love to listen to it for 30 days straight sometimes, every time I'm driving, if I'm not making a video right now like this. Why? Because I wanted to get it, I wanna brainwash myself. I wanna ingrain it into my subconsciousness so that it becomes my actual lifestyle habit by naturally, organically, without me having to think to do it. Does it make sense so far? Because if not, you can comment below right now. I'll message you back. I might even give you a private phone number for you to call so I can help you through that because I want to give back. I've been depressed. I've been suicidal. I've been down to the pitfalls. I know how it feels. I've had a friend commit suicide and that was my wake-up call. And my mentor said to me, I have to give back because he's trained me and now I have to give it back. And I didn't want to, but he said it's selfish not to. And I think he's right. And so I'm, I'm making these videos today, tomorrow, uh, until the day I pass to hope that I can change the world and give back to the world before I leave this world. Um, if this video helps you out, share it. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, if it's a long explanation that I have to go through to help, I don't mind setting up a phone conference. Have a great day.